Hey everyone, we are leaving Kathmandu. We're on our way to the airport uh, and we are flying to Malaysia tonight. Qu first Kuala Lumpur and then Langkawi, yeah. which is a beautiful island and we're really excited for some, t for some beach time. Yeah, we had enough city time. Yeah. Okay. We arrived in Malaysia on Langkawi, on the little island Langkawi, and we're in the Temple Tree Resort and they have an animal shelter. And we're gonna check out the dogs and probably walk the dogs a bit. They were all rescued. And they have cats everywhere, it's really cute. And of course, I have to also show you a room tour. Let's insert that here. We're doing a cooperation with uh, Temple Tree at Bantan and they gave us this room for two nights but it's not a room, it's an entire apartment. So you come up these stairs and then you go into the living room. Hey! Cool! It looks so cool in all the details. And out there is already the terrace and the pool. It's raining a bit right now. Yeah, and that's the pool. A super long pool. Then here's part of our terrace, and here's the other part of our terrace. But now comes my favorite room. That's the bedroom! It's so cool! With the mosquito net, makes it more romantic. Here from a different angle. And there you see the terrace again. And here's the bathroom, so you come from the bedroom to the bathroom. And it's also all made out of wood. Here's the toilet. <laughs> Here's a shower, you don't see it so well, but that's the shower. And here's the bathtub. So cool. We didn't try it yet, but it looks really cool. And they somehow gave us a really big apartment, so we have another guest room. If anyone wants to come stop by. <laughs> here's the guest room. And it's not finished. Back here is like a little study, a little kitchen type thing, uh, and wardrobe where we can store our stuff and have a safe and everything. So yeah, that's it. It's a huge place and it's really, really cool and I love the interior. Okay, now I think I've explained everything. So we're gonna go see the dogs now. So this is Narco. I'm walking Narco. And Jesse's walking Arthur. And Arthur is a bit wilder. <laughs> and Narco is a bit slower. <laughs> Hey Mia, what's your friend's name? Michael. So she's done. She, she doesn't want to go anymore. Look, we're here. No. <laughs> and come. And she's stiff. <laughs> Go back. And we have to walk a little bit more. Come. We just walked some other dogs. I didn't film it because we were training them a bit. So we were trying to make them not pull so hard. So I was concentrating on that, that's why I didn't film. And we're gonna walk another doggy. So yeah, today is dog morning. <laughs> Jess is super happy. Look at him, happy face.
So we're done with dog walking, but we're thirsty now, so we need some water. Hey guys, so after the dogs we had some pool time. And now we're a bit hungry and going to lunch. We're just gonna walk somewhere randomly. I hope it's not gonna rain. I think we should bring an umbrella. I'm gonna tell Jesse quickly. Here we have one. Yeah, we can go. So we found this place. Let's see if they have anything vegetarian. No, they had nothing vegetarian and they weren't really helpful. So we have to keep on walking. So we're walking back to the hotel now because they had vegetarian. And I have to say it's really hard here in Malaysia, or at least on Langkawi, to find vegetarian food. Just any dish. It's been pretty, pretty hard. Our food came and it's all veggie, at least for me. Jesse got a chicken avocado sandwich. And I got a salad with spicy cashews. Mm. So we finished with that and we're gonna work a bit now and later we're gonna probably sit by the pool again, take some photos and just relax and chill here because it's such a super relaxing place here and yeah, everyone's so friendly here from the staff and maybe tomorrow we walk the doggies again. We don't know if we have time for that but the doggies were our highlight until now I have to say. Tell us more about the doggies. Okay, so we talked to Gareth, who is the manager of the shelter and what he told us is that it's part of the hotel, part of the Bantan Hotel and it was started about at the same time as the hotel was started, so about 20 years ago by an Australian woman. So part of the profits from the hotel go towards funding the dog shelter. They have about 90 dogs there. They told us that some do get adopted, but it's usually the puppies, so most of the older dogs that end up there stay there. And he said, unfortunately, there's a huge problem of uh, overpopulation on the island, also in Malaysia in general. And one thing that he said that unlike in Nepal, we saw that there were a lot of stray dogs, but there people really took care of the stray dogs well. And he said, unfortunately here, it's not the same case in Thailand and Myanmar. They also take care of their stray dogs very well, but here, People don't seem to take care of the strays so much. And they mistreat them. And mistreat them a bit. And there's a few, we saw a few that had some accidents. And he said often some just get left. So they take in the dogs that they can, but there's also just a huge overpopulation problem. Can you hear me? There's a plane. So yeah, so there's just a huge overpopulation problem. The other thing they do is sometimes they will take strays in and then they'll uh, castrate them so that they can't reproduce, but he said it's up to now it's kind of a losing battle because they are reproducing faster than they can uh, try and take care of it. So uh, it's a nice effort and it's nice that the hotel is putting a portion of their profits towards such a, such a good cause and I hope that they can figure out a way to improve this problem here. They take care of the cats too as well, um, of course, but we're not such big cat lovers, so we didn't talk about them so much. <laughs> but yeah, the cats as well. 